Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update or build that is released in the Release Preview channel which has some nice new improvements and features added into the Release Preview channel. Features that will soon enough come into the main release of Windows 11. So we're talking about the build 22631.3807 and this build for version 23H2. In this video as always we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 and Saturn preview build for the Release Preview channel. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that they will change the Copilot experience. Basically, they will no longer have the built-in Copilot section inside Windows. It will now be pinned to the taskbar and it will behave like an app that can be resized and more but with less functionalities. But also announced by Microsoft, this is not rolling out yet in this build. It's a thing that will happen but not rolling out yet in this build. Of course on the screen you're going to see how that should look whenever it is rolling out. Also Microsoft will start to add a new recommendation card inside the settings homepage for Game Pass and that will basically show on the Home and Pro editions when you sign in to Windows into a Microsoft account. The card appears if you actively play games on your PC. Also the show the desktop button should now be enabled in the taskbar by default and you can change that by right clicking on the taskbar, taskbar settings and then you have to go to taskbar behaviors and then you're going to have the option to like the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop and you can uncheck it or check it if you want. Also in this update we will now be able to create 7-zip and tar archives inside the context menu of Windows 11. We're going to have the option compress to in the file explorer and also additional options where you can select the compression type, the format and more. So I think that is pretty useful and I'm happy that this is being added inside Windows 11 soon enough also on the main release. This build also adds support for emoji 15.1 and you also have a list of new emojis which you can select from. Microsoft is also adding a new copy file inside the Windows Share window in the File Explorer and also this updates affects OneDrive. You can now use it as a remote app in Azure Virtual Desktop. Related to the Task Manager, this update changes the units for DDR speed from megahertz to MT per second and also this update addresses an issue that affects USB devices. Ejecting them using the Safe Remove Hardware option fails. This occurs when Task Manager is open. This update also affects process handles. Task Manager releases them more quickly when it's stops a process and this update also makes the task manager more reliable. Also the sort order of processes in task manager is changed. Performance is better when you change the order. I think that is pretty good. And also task manager is now more accessible by having an improved keyboard focus, tab key navigation, text scaling and more. Also it now should be easier to resize the task manager window from the top. Also this update addresses an issue that affects GPUs. They do not enter the idle state that stops them from consuming power and there are a few other improvements and fixes here and there in this build but you can check the whole list of those in the article below in the video's description. So as you can see Microsoft is starting to introduce new and interesting features inside the release preview channel which means that in about two weeks or maximum three weeks they will be released as an optional update to the main release. I think that is good news. Pay attention that most of these new features are slowly rolling out in the release preview channel and if you're interested maybe I'm gonna make a dedicated video in which I'll show you how to manually enable them. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.